If we look at the list further of reasons why digital technology is not integrated fully in your schools, most of them have little or nothing to do with IT qua IT. Most of the reasons are to do with levels of frustration, anxiety, reluctance on the part of staff. The ICT subject leader is not in an ideal position to deal with those sorts of issues. Really, that's the provenance of the head teacher. The head teacher leads people, the ICT subject leader manages systems. And in cooperation and in conjunction with each other's understanding and effort directed at those two different sets of circumstances, the school can begin to make progress. The problem became one of a leadership of change process, that there needed to be a change in culture in the school. And only the senior leadership can lead change of that nature in a school. No matter how good the ICT subject leader is, he or she manages systems and manages the effectiveness of the system, manages the teacher's understanding of the system, but they cannot lead change. An indispensable step is to have a shared set of values amongst all of your staff, a shared set of understanding as to why it is that you are continuing to develop and integrate digital technologies across the range of activities in your schools. There are 19 cards involved in the activity. The first thing you will do is to discard 10 of them and leave yourselves with, a, with a, a set of nine which you think probably are the most significant ones. We want you then to arrange that set of nine cards in either a circle, a diamond pattern, or if you really want to, in a straightforward hierarchy going from one to nine. There's been quite a, a large amount of research undertaken into which are the main five that schools eventually decide on as being the most significant. And indeed, some research in a survey has been done to prioritise those five in sequence from one to five. It seems that every year or so, at one point or another, I have felt this is the new piece of technology that's going to make the difference. When the first network came along, when the first hard disk drive of, a, of any significant uh, size came along, when the first modem came along, when the first interactive whiteboard came along, one was always tempted, if heavily involved in the use of IT in schools, to say, this is going to be the revolutionary moment. This is the bit of kit that's going to make the difference. We were still confusing a discourse about boxes and wires and the quality of those boxes and wires rather than discussing ways in which change would be implemented in order to integrate their use, better use, into the classroom. We're beginning to see evidence that when pupils see and have access to the tools within the classroom that they consistently use outside of school, this improves their motivation, it improves their engagement. Indeed, there is sufficient evidence to begin to show that unless we make those tools available to pupils within the classroom, to enhance their experience of teaching and learning, then we will risk those pupils becoming more and more disengaged from the educational process. Leadership has still not grappled with the essential problem of changing the culture in the school. If progress is made in schools, it's made by a few individuals who are IT enthusiasts 
or it tends to be made by people who are the ICT subject leader, the ICT coordinator, or an ICT ambassador in some shape or form.